Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah. I'm Dale Brisby, greatest cowboy ever to walk the earth. That's why you see me, even on Netflix, telling the world how to be a cowboy. It's because everybody reaches out to me and they say, Dale, how do we become cowboys? How do we get started ranching? How do we get started riding bulls? Well, I've got the answers to all those questions. And in this video, we're gonna tell you about five or 13 ways to get started ranching. So, the first way you can get started ranching is by doing what I did. And that's when all the money riding bulls, how much money, Dale? All of it. That's it, boys! 90 points! And then go buy a functioning ranch just like I did. If you can't do that, the second way is what I would suggest is a lease place. What I'm talking about is you owning cows and you put them on someone else's property. It's gonna take knowing somebody, so you need to find an area that you wanna live in or at least run cows in, and you're gonna to need to meet the locals. What's up, old fella? Oh man, just another day at the sale barn. You know how it is. Oh yeah, we need some rain, don't we? We do need some rain, I heard that. Now let me tell you, this is maybe the most competitive thing you can do in this industry is find lease pasture. But if you're a nice guy or you're willing to pay a little bit more, it can be done. We got our lease place, we got a cow, we're in business. Come on. <laughs> well, looks like we're out of business. I hate to see it. Depending on where you're at, it's gonna help determine how much country you need. Right around here in West Texas, you're gonna need at least 20 acres per cow. Unless you're running on some improved kind of grass, you need about 20 acres. So if you have 100 acres, do the math. If I'm not mistaken, that's seven cows. So. It's not very many for 100 acres, but uh, it can be done. You can also supplement with feed. Maybe you've got some hay, but running cows on lease pasture is probably the easiest way to get started by owning cows. There's another way though. Dale Brisby is the master at it, old son. The best you're gonna be is second, and that's being a day hand. levels of day hands. You can just have a, a, a day worker, it's contract labor, better bring your own insurance, bring your own horse, bring your own truck and trailer. Day hand, top hand, super puncher. That's what Dale Brisby is. You can make a good living, depending on what you mean by good living, day working, old son. Day thugging, trotting in circles. Depending on the time of year is gonna help determine what kind of day work you're doing. Around here in the spring, most people are branding, they're, uh, they're gonna drag calves, they're gonna brand them, vaccinate them, castrate, ear tag, etc. Turn those calves back out. And then in the summertime, maybe you're running some, uh, some yearlings on grass. Or late summer, you're gonna help pick up bulls. In the fall, you're gonna wean. And then in the wintertime, you're gonna be doctoring yearlings, which is a great time to work on your horses and work on your rope. There's other little side gigs you can get when you're day working, like for instance, a sale barn. If you've got a local one that typically has a sale one day a week, you can go in there. There might be feed lots, getting a bunch of trucks in. You're gonna be horseback, pushing them up and down the alleys. So you just gotta get creative with how you help these guys. It does take a certain level of knowledge on riding a horse and being handy with a rope. Speaking of being good with a horse, another way to get started ranching is with a horse trainer. They take on a lot of apprentices. These kind of guys, they've got a lot going on and any help they can get is much appreciated. So if you'll shadow an apprentice intern for a horse trainer, you can learn how a horse's mind works. And that's gonna set you up to day work or own your own ranch. Horse trainers are, uh, they're all over. You kind of got to know them, obviously, to work for them, but you can find them when they're working on cutting horses. You can find guys that are trading horses, and so they'll take a horse, improve him, trade him, sell him, uh, starting colts. You know, that's probably the more dangerous part of horse training that uh, guys want help with. So if you're willing to put yourself in harm's way, you may have a job as a horse trainer. Another trade in the industry that's uh, pretty close to horses, but not necessarily ranching, would be uh, horseshoeing. 
being a farrier. <laughs> Guys like me, we gotta keep shoes on our most trusted steeds. Boone here, I like to keep this rascal shod, and I need a good farrier to do it. So I'm gonna call a guy today, and I'm gonna pay him 120 bucks to come put shoes on Boone, because I can't afford me driving a hot nail in it. Farriers, much like horse trainers, they're cool with taking an apprentice, an intern. They want some help. There's simple jobs that you can do for those guys that are gonna help them get the job done faster where you get to learn in the process. And you can make good money. You shoe five, six horses in a day at 100 bucks a pop, do the math, that's like $1,200. Another way to get started ranching is to get a full-time job. Now this one is definitely gonna take more experience and knowledge about the industry because if you're gonna get paid by someone to work full-time at least 40 hours a week, probably more, they're gonna want you to know how to do that craft. So if you've done these other things first, then it'll help lead you into a full-time position at a ranch. That could be working as a horse trainer on a big operation that raises horses. It could be as a camper, meaning a huge ranch that puts cowboys in different locations to take care of a certain number of cows. You could live on a camp. Or maybe you've worked your way up the ladder and you're gonna manage a ranch. All these things are gonna take knowledge. It's gonna take getting started. So you start where I told you to and they could lead to this final way to get involved and that's uh, getting a job. I know what some of you are thinking. Dale, I don't have any experience. I can't find a, any lease land. How do I literally get started doing those things you just told me to do? This is something you can do, guys. Find someone to work for, for free. All ranchers have some task that they've been doing their whole life that they don't enjoy. For instance, um, cleaning out stalls. Whenever somebody's got 20 horses in a barn, they gotta clean out stalls every day. Maybe it's feeding, maybe it's fencing, maybe it's cleaning out a burn bin. It may just be something on the ranch. Find them on Instagram, on the internet, go to the local veterinarian, go to the local sale barn, meet people, put out your hand, look them in the eye, shake their hand, offer to work for them for free and give them examples. Hey, I'll do this, 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 or this for free. Then get in there, get in the, get in the ranch, get in that position, kill it, work hard, five, six, seven, ten days later, just have a conversation with that owner. If you've brought them value, they're gonna let you have this conversation. Hey, um, I, I know I'm working for free and I do not mind that. Is there any way you can teach me how to saddle and ride a horse while I'm here? Is there any way you can teach me to shoe a horse? When you have that conversation with someone that you just worked 10 days in a row for free, they're gonna say yes. I, that's, what, that's why this intern program exists. So that's something that uh, you can go do right now. DM 100 cowboys in your area on Instagram. Find out where they work. That's something you can do to get started ranching. So use the internet, use your local resources, but it really comes down to one thing. How bad do you want it, old son? How bad do you want it, Boone? You ready to go ranch? <sighs> On to the next one.